రామాయణ పార్ట్ ఫైవ్ కౌశిక బికమ్స్ బ్రహ్మర్షి కౌశిక నౌ రెన్యూడ్ హిస్ తపస్ విత్ స్టిల్ గ్రేటర్ రిగర్ టు అచీవ్ హిజ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ లార్డ్ బ్రహ్మ అండ్ అదర్ గాడ్స్ వ ప్లీజ్ విత్ హిస్ ఆస్టరిటీస్ అండ్ గ్రాంటెడ్ హిమ్ ద ర్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ అ దేవర్షి but even this would not satisfy kaushika he renewed his fierce austerities the gods were apprehensive once again they wished to halt his tapas no matter how they sent menaka a celestial beauty to where kaushika was immersed in tapas menaka came to pushkara teertha she began to dance most alluringly before the sage who was lost in tapas kaushika heard the delightful jingling of the tiny bells and opened his eyes and beheld menaka who was dancing her loveliness thrilled him he fell in love with her and invited her to live with him she agreed and set up house with him 10 years passed menaka gave birth to a daughter this baby was shakuntala who later married dushyanta and became the mother of the celebrated bharata kaushika woke up to the reality i surrendered to a woman's attraction and forgot my resolve to perform tapas how shameful he bewailed Menaka stood near him panic stricken he spoke gently to her and sent her away he then turned his steps towards the himalayas in the north kaushika now began grim austerities on the banks of kaushiki near the himalayas he performed tapas for a long time pleased with his devotion brahma granted him a title of maharshi a great rishi but kaushika would accept nothing less than recognition as a brahmarshi so he continued his austerities he stood with both hands raised he fed only on air the scorching sun of the summer the merciless downpour of rains the cutting cold which made the body shiver nothing would weaken the rigor of his tapas once again the gods were in panic they sent a celestial maiden of peerless beauty rambha to him but now kaushika had mastered his passions he had subdued his senses he did not even glance at rambha he pronounced a curse against rambha who tried to disturb his tapas and austerities grew even severe he told he took to total silence food and drink he would not touch and he performed tapas motionless like a log of wood smoke rose from his head the entire universe trembled at the fire emanating the gods approached brahma they said supreme lord grant kaushika his wish brahma stood before kaushika and softly said brahmarshi we are pleased with your matchless devotion kaushika was very glad but he wished that vashishta should greet him as brahmarshi he told lord brahma so Brahma smiled and sent for Vashishta. Vashishta said to Kaushika, "You are now a Brahmarshi," and embraced him happily. From that day, Kaushika became Vishwamitra. This was the sage who came to Dasharatha's court.